Lou Lamorello's journey took him from being a high school math teacher to the Hockey Hall of Fame. From head coach of the men's hockey team at Providence College to being the first commissioner of Hockey East and eventually president and general manager of the three-time Stanley Cup winning New Jersey Devils. From 1987 to 2015, Lamorello ran the Devils organization with one goal in mind, winning as a team. Professionalism and a willingness to sacrifice personally for the sake of success was a requirement. His no-nonsense demeanor and hardball stances have led him to become a meme at this point in 2018. But it's tough to argue the Godfather's methods thanks to his success. For every complaint of his no facial hair rule or hardball approach towards contract negotiations, there's the flip side. His incredible drafting record, his role in helping bring Soviet players to the NHL in the late 1980s, and so much more. Today, we examine one of the few aspects you could criticize Lamorello for, his trade record. While nobody bats a thousand, the question remains just how much of the Devils' success during his tenure came from this side of the business. Surely his record is a winning one after five finals appearances and three Stanley Cups, right? Let's take a look at 28 years worth of history. <laughs> and now's the part where I look at it being eight goddamn pages. <laughs> Alright, there's only one way to get this going. Let's do it. Damn it. Let's do it. We are going to start from the very beginning. The very beginning of Lou's tenure. His first ever trade, June 1st of 1987. And immediately, we can call that trade a wash. Because there are no major pieces involved. And I think that's how I'm going to handle the entirety of this. Where Shane Doyle... Yeah, I mean, there's just, there's nothing there. He never played an NHL game. So, yeah, that's, that's a complete wash. Uh, Tom Curvers actually has a name compared to, uh, Andrew McVicar and Mark Astley. So, Curvers was there for a decent amount of time. That's, that's a win. That's a win. I mean, they didn't win anything while he was there, but they got the better player. So, at best, it's a wash for Buffalo, but the Devils actually got a decent player. So, we got a wash and we got a win so far. That's rough. Uh, David Maley? Molly? For the pick that became Matthew Schneider. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna consider, now here's the thing. That's, that's, that's a loss. I don't think we've had a major loss this early in someone's tenure. That is a loss. Uh, Maley did play quite a bit for the Devils, but, uh, clearly more of a goon. Yeah, that's... Alright, so we have a win, we have a loss, and we have a wash thus far. Or a draw. Call it what you will. Maybe we'll just call it a draw at this point. But, uh, yeah, giving up the pick that became Matthew Schneider is rough. Patrick Sundstrom, uh, the pick that became Matt Ruckty. Alright, and the pick that became uh, Jeff Christian for Craig D. Adams, or Greg D. Adams. Kirk McLean, and a pick that became Leaf Rolling. Uh, considering the Canucks managed to get Kirk McLean and went to a Stanley Cup Final with them, that is also a loss. Patrick Sundstrom spent a couple of years in New Jersey, uh, left and retired before they made it to a cup final. He actually wasn't that bad. 76-point season, a 69-point season. Uh, never hit the 91 that he had in Vancouver back in 83-84. But, I mean, they got Kirk McLean. They went to a cup with him. I have to give it to Vancouver for that reason. At best, it's a draw. Because Sundstrom wasn't that bad, but factoring in McLean going to the cup final with Vancouver, I give that to Vancouver. Uh, George McPhee for Doug Evans. Uh, George McPhee never really had an amazing NHL tenure. Matter of fact, he only played uh, six games for the New Jersey Devils before calling it a career. But I still give it to uh, I still give it to the Devils on that one. Doug Evans never became anything. It's a draw at best for Winnipeg. Maybe we'll... It's it's a draw. I like George McPhee for the fact that it's like, hey, you know, Washington, Vegas. I'm, I'm going to give that one a draw. It's like, is it really a win when you only... You get a player who has name value, but he has name value for being a GM. Instead of like, oh yeah, he had six points once. Or six games played. So, we'll consider that a draw as well. Uh, the Devils get the pick that become Alexander Samak for Steve Sugiora. Who, uh, former Maine Mariners great, which, uh, I'm very happy about, but, uh, yeah, he never played a game for the Bruins. 
He never played a game, so that's that's a draw. That is another draw. So we have, what, one win thus far? The Tom Curvers trade? Not a great start to the tenure. Uh, Steve Rooney and the pick that became Brad Bombardier, who was a pretty solid NHL defenseman for Alan Chevrier and Doug Evans. Man, that pick for Doug Evans was flipped twice already, huh? So, Steve Rooney didn't do much for New Jersey. Played one season, 25 games, 4 points. Former uh, former Maine Mariner as well. I can support that. Uh, Brad Bombardier was decent. Now, of course, I'm not judging this off of what Brad Bombardier became uh, for the Devils or for whoever. But, you know, you see Brad Bombardier's name. It's basically Bombardier against Chevrier, who played one season and wasn't great. So, the Devils got the best player in the trade. I'll give it to the Devils for Brad Bombardier, who, in fairness, oh, in fairness for Mr. Bombardier, uh, you know, went on to do some decent things. Played for the Devils for a bit before going to Minnesota in the expansion draft. That's where I remember him from. So, I'll give that to the Devils. I'll give that to the Devils. It's not a major win, but it's still a win. Uh, Jean-Marc Lanthier for Dan Dorian. This is going to be a wash or a draw, isn't it? Uh, yeah, he never put... Another former Maine Mariner. <laughs> Jesus. I wore the right jersey today, uh, but he was a nothing player. Dan Dorian, that's a complete draw. Neither team appears to have played, or neither player has appeared, or appears to have played for the team that they were traded to. So that's a draw. Uh, Tommy Albaline for a pick that became Nicholas Anderson. I mean, Albaline was there for cup runs. So, yeah, I mean, the Devils got a part of their cup winning defense in Albaline. That's a major win. That is a major win. Albaline for a fourth round pick. Major win. Uh, Lyle Fair for cash. Uh, Fair never played a game for the Devils, so that's a draw. If anything, L.A. might have won <laughs> with the cash uh, prize there. Uh, Claude Villegran for Tim o Lenarden? Lenarden. Neat. Uh, Villegran played some games for the Devils, including a 46-point season. Was a beast at the AHL level. 89 points in 73 games. Uh, Lenarden never played a game. That's a mistake. He played eight games for Vancouver. That was it. Former Maine Mariner, by the way. Uh, so the Devils won that one. They got a half-decent piece who played a considerable amount of games for them. So I give that one to the Devils as well. And now we get into our first big trade with some big names. Now, Tommy Albaline is a solid name. Brad Bombardier. But, yeah, we have big names. Sylvain Turgeon for Pat Verbeek. One for one. Turgeon. Played 72 games for the Devils, and that was it. Whereas Pat Verbeek at least spent some time in Hartford and did very well. 380-point seasons. That's a big win for the Whalers. The Whalers never went on to do anything, unfortunately, but by far. They, I mean, they got the better player and one that actually stuck around. So that's a loss. That's a pretty big loss for the Devils. Uh, they then dealt Brad Bombardier, or acquired the Bombardier pick. I feel like that's broken up. I feel like the Jets trade, uh, it was like one major trade that was broken up. So I'm not going to rate that. We'll call it uh, We'll call it a win, though. If I had to grade that, that's a win. I mean, the Brad Bombardier pick. Uh, the first round pick that became Jason Miller for Corey Foster. Foster didn't do anything in Edmonton. And there's nothing on Jason Miller, who I don't recognize, so I'm going to call that a draw without looking up a lot more to it. Uh, Walt Podubny. Great name in Walt Podubny. But eh, he played He played for three seasons, never played a full season. So he was a depth option. Mike Bodnerchuk. Is he, re is he related to Andrew Bodnerchuk? Mike Bodnerchuk. Are you related to Andrew Bodnerchuk? You are not. Now I'm very disappointed. Very disappointed. Uh, so Walt Podubny, who was meh for Joe Sorella, would it be? Who played more than Podubny ever did. Claude Lazelle, who's known more for his managerial career at this point, And was a half-decent player at the time still. That's that's a big win. And then, of course, the eighth-round pick that became Karpatsev. So that's a, that's a major win for the Nords. So add another one to the L column for Lou. Not a great start for him, man. Traded for Beak? I mean, we're still in the first year and on the first page. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Uh, they acquired Peter Sundstrom, who played 21 games with them before leaving for Sweden for Rob Leesk. 
So I'm going to consider that a draw. I mean, the Devils at least got somebody that played games for them, but it was never a major thing. So you could consider that a win for New Jersey. I'm going to consider that a draw. And hello. I think we have our first major win. <laughs> you want to you wanna call it that? No, no disrespect to Tom Curvers. But uh, he was dealt to Toronto for the pick that became Scott Niedermeyer, as a lot of Leafs fans are well aware. Uh, let's give him, I'm joking, but let's give him 17 wins for that. Or at least, uh, you know, at least three for the amount of cups that he won in New Jersey, <laughs> if I'm not mistaken. God damn, what a win that is. Poor Tom Kerbers, man, who only played a season and a half in Toronto before being dealt again. Whew. All right, I, we could sit there and talk about just how ridiculous that trade is. I don't know if that, I mean, that that might be the biggest trade and the most one-sided trade I've seen yet. Again, for the Eiserman video, we looked at the Vasilevsky trade. They traded Kyle Quincy, and that became the pick became Vasilevsky. Uh, you look at what some of the trades were in the early tenure for Craig Patrick in terms of like acquiring Larry Murphy and Joe Mullen for nothing. That might be the most one-sided trade I've seen yet. And then we go to Jim Thompson, who uh, played three games for the Devils. Uh, Chris Chihaki, uh did not play at all for the Hartford Whalers. So there is that. Uh, I'm going to consider that a draw. Again, Thompson played three games. You can consider it a, a win for New Jersey for the fact that Thompson at least played a couple of games. But that's a draw. And we finally move on to the next page. So that's good. Started out at the bottom. Bob Brook for Aaron Broughton. Uh, Brook played 35 games for the Devils, had 18 points, and then called it a career? Really? I'm kind of intrigued. Bob Brook. Bob Brook. Why did you retire, Bob? You just did. That's a hell of a Wikipedia page you got there, Bob. What about Elite Prospects? Did he just outright retire? Yeah, he just outright retired. Shit. Wasn't even that old at the time. Born in 1960, he was 30, and he called it a career. Interesting. Uh, and Aaron Broughton in Minnesota played 35 games, and that's it. That's that's a draw, maybe. How much time did Brook play? <sighs> 35 games, 18 points. Broughton at least played 35 games, 18... What? Did they have the same point total that season? What? What? Devils acquire Bob Brook. 35 games, 8, or 35, uh, yeah, 35 games, 18 points. Broughton in Minnesota, 35 games, 18 points. Well, that just blew my goddamn mind. Uh, we're gonna call that a draw, because it's literally a draw. That's insane. Uh, Jeff Sharples. Sharples. Great name. Never played for New Jersey, though. <laughs> That's not a great start. What about Raiho Ruotsalainen? Uh, played 10 games. So it's a draw. But, you know, you could give the slight edge to Edmonton if you wanted to. Uh, Ruotsalainen did great in New York before ending up on Edmonton. I'm not even sure how the Devils flipped him. Well, actually, yeah, right there. Yeah, I mean, shit. A draw, from what I can tell. Right. Right. Edmonton, 8 points in 10 games. Or New Jersey, 31 points in 7 games and flipped Edmonton. Ruotsalainen's the better player, but I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna consider that a draw. Although Edmonton in the '90s, Edmonton in '90, I'm gonna give that. That's gonna be a win for Edmonton. Actually, I think that's fair. A win for Edmonton, and then a big time win for New Jersey. At least on paper, Peter Stashney to the Devils played a few seasons, did pretty damn well. They traded Greg Willanen, who was pretty good in Quebec, but. Peter Stashney, I think, wins out. Although, Greg Willannon was on the cup-winning team for the Avalanche. Greg Willannon was on the cup-winning team for the Avalanche. Stashney left New Jersey before they won. I can't believe I'm saying this, but the team that acquired Peter Stashney lost this trade. Did they not? Devils' first cup win in 95? I give that to Quebec slash Colorado. They had a member of their cup-winning team in Craig Willannon. Played 75 games, 27 points. That win goes to Quebec. 
Peter Kuchnia for Jim Korn. Calgary wins just for getting Jim Korn, and he played some games for them. I don't know how good Peter Kuchnia was, and I don't really care to look. Uh, that's that's a draw. Again, you could say like, ah, well, Jim Korn played nine games, but nah, I'm gonna call that a draw. Well, uh, the pick that became Trevor Kidd and Vesa Vitakoski, Vitakoski, uh, for Chris Gottsiemen. David Harlock and some guy named Martin Brodeur, who definitely wasn't just uh, sent to the Hockey Hall of Fame. I don't think I don't think I need to tell you who that's a win for, right? I think we know. We're all in agreement. Trevor Kidd, Calgary wins. No, I mean, come on, they got Martin Brodeur. That's actually interesting though that he wasn't traded for like you know someone just like a complete bunch of nobodies. Trevor Kidd had a really solid career, but it's Martin Brodeur. Claude Lemieux for Sylvain Turgeon. Lemieux, I mean, was on the Devils winning team, and then was on the Avs winning team. So, it's going to be tough for Sylvain Turgeon to match that in Montreal, and considering he only played two seasons there, and left before they won in 93. That's a major win for the Devils. Major win for the Devils. Uh, Laurie Broshman. Broshman? Broshman? I'm honestly not sure. Uh, played two seasons for the Devils. Was okay. 20-point guy. I uh, was traded for Bob Brook, who did not do anything in Winnipeg, as mentioned right here. He retired, Jan Kaminsky. Uh, so that's a win for the Devils. It's not a major win, but they at least got a you know solid NHLer for two seasons. So that's better than being like, oh, he played six games. So uh, Lee Norwood in the pick that became Scott McCabe for Paul Seibert. Uh Norwood in New Jersey never played a game. Nope, he did. Okay, he played 28 games. Right. So 28 games for Mr. Norwood. Whereas Paul Ysebert, Ysebert, uh had a little bit of a longer tenure for the Devil, uh, for the Red Wings, I should say. I'd give that to Detroit. I'd give that to Detroit. I mean, he was only there for two seasons, but a 62-point season and a 75-point season, that's a, that's a pretty big win for Detroit, even if they were uh, not exactly overly competitive at the time. Uh, Brent Severin. Brent Severin, who did not play a game for the Devils. Not good for uh, Dave Marincin, who, in fairness, uh, played five games for Quebec. That is a draw. You could give the slight edge to Quebec. That's a draw, though. It's a nothing deal. Uh, Tom Shorsky and Stefan Richet for Roland Melanson and Kirk Muller. Uh, this is going to be tough on New Jersey. In fairness, uh, Chorsky, mm, he might have already gone to Italy at that point. I don't think he was on the cup-winning team at the time. So that's kind of rough. I think Chorsky was already gone. He spent a couple of seasons there. Uh, I think it's Richet, is it not? I mean, I believe so. Was on the cup winning team. Okay. Played 45 games that season. So not bad. Roland Melanson in Montreal. Did, uh, did play nine games. That's it. What about Kirk Muller, though? Which, you know, that is what it is. Was on the cup winning team. Spent a few seasons in Montreal. So, I mean, you're pretty much having to outright compare Richet and Muller. And, I mean, considering Muller had a 94-point season in 93, the year Montreal last won the cup, I gotta give it to Montreal. At worst for New Jersey, it's a draw. But, I mean, if you have to compare Richet, who, in fairness, was decent. I mean, shit, 93-94, he had a 72-point season. He wasn't that bad, but for 94-95, probably injured from the looks of it. If I call this a draw, I think Montreal fans would be pissed. If I call it a draw, I think Montreal fans would be pissed, but I'm going to call it a draw. I don't know, man. Riche for New Jersey was solid, ran into some injury trouble from the looks of it, but he was pretty damn effective. Muller was equally so, if not more. I'm going to call it a draw. If you want to give it to Montreal, you can. But I think at the end of the day, both players were effective for the teams that they went to and won cups in the process. So for that reason, I'm calling it a draw, even though Montreal probably got the better player in Muller. The trade worked out for both teams. Uh, John Guirstante for Lee Norwood. Uh, Norwood at least played games for Hartford. But it wasn't a major amount, so we'll call that a draw. Uh, future considerations for Alan Stewart. 
who played four games in Boston. That's a draw. Uh, Troy Malay, the mallet, who played 34 games for the Devils. Actually, this was 92, so he played 17 games and then 34 games. Not much there, though. And Dave Malley in Edmonton uh, played 30-some-odd games. I'm going to call that a draw. Neither team was, uh, neither player was a winner, a uh, member of a cup winning team, so both just kind of did okay, so that's a draw. Brad Shaw for cash. Shaw never played for the Devils. That is a draw, if not slight edge to Hartford. Here we go. All right, Bobby Holik, the pick that became Jay Pandolfo and a conditional pick for Sean Burke and Eric Weinrich. So, Bobby Holik was amazing. He, <laughs> he won two cups with the Devils which is ridiculous. Pandolfo, also a member of those cup-winning teams. Sean Burke was solid in Hartford. He was there nearly until the end. But, I mean, Hartford never did anything before going to Carolina, obviously. And then Eric Weinrich. For Hartford, again, solid, but you're talking about New Jersey getting two members of a dynasty. So, that's a win for the Devils. Hartford didn't make out too bad. Sean Burke was a really solid goaltender at the time. But that's a win for the Devils. Uh, they gave up Neil Brady for nothing. Brady played 55 games for Ottawa. Only played one season. Ah, I'll give that one to Ottawa. I mean, it's not a major win, but they at least got a useful player at the time where they were still new and sucked. So, I'll give that to Ottawa, even though they didn't do anything with it. Uh, they gave up Pat Conacher for nothing, former Maine Mariner. Uh, in Los Angeles, was a part of the team that went to the cup final. In 93. That's a, that's a win for LA as well. They got a useful player for a couple of seasons. It's not a major win. We're not talking Niedermeyer for nobody. But that is a pretty big win for them. It's, it's a decent sized win for them. Bernie Nichols for Zidano Seager. Seager? Seager. And Kevin Todd. Uh, Bernie Nichols. Bernie Nichols. Uh, left before they made it to the cup final. Played 84 games total. So, it's not too bad. Uh, good old Zidano, the lesser Zidano, played 89 games for Edmonton, a little bit more. All right, and then old Kevin Todd was okay, eh, 25 games. I'm going to uh I'm going to consider that about even, I think. I'm going to consider that about even. Nichols and uh CJ seem or Seeger seem to uh kind of even out. They get Brian Lawton for nothing, right? Problem is, he never played a game for them. So, that's a draw. Peter Sidorkowicz and Niels Ekman and Mike Peluso for Craig Billington, Troy Malay, and Cosmo DePaul. I need to see what Cosmo DePaul looks like for obvious reasons, even though I missed the L. Cosmo, what are you looking like, buddy? There he is. Good old Cosmo DePaul. Is that your, like, legal name? Or was it a nickname? For the love of God, tell me. I need to know. He doesn't even have a Wikipedia page. Damn shame. Damn shame. Good old Cosmo. Uh, Sidorkowix, whose name I know that I'm butchering, only played three games for the Devils. So that's nothing. In fairness, he came back, but that's not a part of the trade. Uh, Neil Zekman, I do not recognize. Mike Peluso, uh, I, I do recognize, but it's nothing major. Ottawa, though, gets Craig Billington, who, in fairness... Uh, only spent a season with Ottawa. Actually, two seasons with Ottawa, but he left. He uh, went to Boston and then came back. Uh, and Troy Malay, who played a little bit of time in Ottawa. I'm going to give that to Ottawa. I'm going to give that to Ottawa. Again, they at least got a player who they somewhat used. So, slight win there for Ottawa. <sighs> Let's do this. Onward to page six. Down to the bottom. We're almost to 1994. We start off with Corey Millen. For Jason Saul. Corey Millen uh, played 17 games, but was dealt to Dallas, as we are about to find out right up there. So he was not a part of the cup winning team. Uh, Jason Saul never did anything. That is a draw. Uh, they get Ryan Smart for Brent, or they trade away Brent Severin, who did not do anything in Winnipeg. So two draws to start off this page. Roy Mitchell and Reed Simpson for future considerations. Roy Mitchell never played a game for New Jersey. And Reed Simpson 
did, but I don't know for sure if he was a part of the cup winning team. He played 23 games to the Devils that year. Uh, we'll give a slight win to New Jersey just for the addition of Reed Simpson. He at least did something for his team. Uh, Ryan Duffy for Jeff Toms. Jeff Toms in Tampa. Yeah, I mean, he, he didn't do much, but he at least did something. Ryan Duffy never really, uh, never really did anything. From, uh, yeah, okay, that just kind of goes to show. Yeah, he never really did anything, though. So, slight win, but a win nonetheless to Tampa. Uh, they get Mike Hansen for Stefan Yell and Stephen Lowe. I don't even have to look at that trade. That's a loss. Quebec wins that one just to get Stefan Yell, who, of course, ended up going on to win two cups with, uh, with the Colorado Avalanche. So, yeah. Uh, they acquire the pick that became Sheldon Surrey. For Chris Clark, Ryan Duffy, and Neil Zekman. So it comes down to Sheldon Surrey against Chris Clark. And if I'm not mistaken, not that Chris Clark. Let me go Calgary Flames, Chris Clark. Was he not a part of the team that made it to the cup final? He was not. He left. No, he was. Yeah, 3 4 I thought so. So it comes down to Chris Clark against Sheldon Surrey. Which, Clark was solid for Calgary. Let me just uh, preemptively type that, because he didn't leave Calgary in the meantime. He didn't even join the Flames until 2000. Whereas Sheldon Surrey in New Jersey at least had a little bit of playing time, but didn't go on to prominence until he went to Montreal. So, <sighs> mm. I'm going to call that a draw. Maybe. Mm. That's a tough one. That is a tough one. He was technically a part of the team that won in 2000, was Surrey. I think Sheldon Surrey wins. New Jersey wins that trade. Surrey was at least a part of the cup winning team. Although, man, am I panicking. Actually, no, he was dealt to Montreal. That's what I thought I read. Yeah, it's a draw. That's a draw. Surrey was decent for New Jersey, but wasn't a part of a cup winning team. Uh, whereas Chris Clark, also decent for Calgary. Obviously, Flames fans, I'm sorry to bring it up, but they didn't win. Uh, that's a draw. That's a draw. Rob Kahn. God, can you imagine the Rob Kahn Smythe headlines? Did not play a game for the Devils. Had a pretty short career for Dean Malkoch. Malkoch, perhaps. Who uh, did not do a damn thing for Chicago. So that is another draw. Neil Broughton for Corey Millen, as we knew. Broughton in New Jersey was not a part, or was a part of the cup winning team. This is February of 95. So I guess he was on the team. <laughs> like, I don't know, man. He looks to have been moved a lot for Corey Millen, who only played that one season in Dallas. Actually, no, he played 13 games the next the next season. I'm going to call that a draw. I mean, maybe the Devils... <sighs> was Neil Broughton on that cup-winning team? That's, that's what it comes down to. 95, New Jersey Devils. Was Neil Broughton on that cup-winning team? 94-95 Devils season. Roster. Is Neil Broughton listed? He is not. From what I can tell. Nope, he is under centers. Devils win it. Fuck it. Devils win it. It's not a major win, but it's a win. Neil Broughton was on the cup winning team. Congratulations. Uh, Sean Chambers and Danton Cole for Ben Hankinson and Alexander Samak. I really don't recognize either, either player. Uh, Sean Chambers. Sean Chambers was on the cup winning team in 95. Didn't really play a big factor. Was there for a little bit. Danton Cole was also on the cup winning team in 95, but that was his only season there. Whereas Ben Hankinson in Tampa played 18 games, and Alexander Samak in Tampa played 22 games. So Devils win that one as well. Uh, that's that's a loss and a half. I mean, there's a major story behind that as far as the Slava Fetisov trade. But you got David Goslin for Slava Fetisov. That is one of the bigger losses. That is one of the bigger losses. I mean, obviously, Fatisov was a part of the back-to-back -back cup winning team. That's a gigantic win. Is that a bigger... That's probably not a bigger win than the Niedermeyer move, but that's a major loss. Uh, they acquired the pick that became Alan McCauley for Yaroslav Modri. I don't even have to look. That's a win for Ottawa. Even if Modri didn't do much in Ottawa, I mean, he actually had a career... And in fairness, Modry played 64 games, but that's a win for Ottawa. Uh, they deal Claude Lemieux to the Islanders for Steve Thomas. Thomas did not 
win a cup with the Devils. Played a couple of seasons there, though. Of course, they won in 95, 2000, and 03. Played a couple of seasons there, though, before going on to Toronto. Claude Lemieux for the Islanders was dealt pretty much immediately, was he not? Yeah, yeah, he never even played a game for the Islanders. He was pretty much immediately dealt to Colorado. So that is a win for the Devils, just to get Steve Thomas. Darren Kimball for Bill Armstrong and Mike Vukanich. Or Vukanich, I suppose. Uh, Darren Kimball. Name I do not recognize. Never played a game for the Devils. Bill Armstrong. Never played a game for Chicago. And Mike uh, Vukanic. Never. All right, that's a drop. <laughs> that's the most boring trade I think I've seen yet. Essa taken in for Billy Nieminen. Nieminen? Nieminen. He was a member of the Minnesota Wild. That's all I remember. And Colorado, if I'm not mistaken. Right? Right? Wrong Billy Nieminen. I feel foolish. He was a part of the Colorado... Oh, that's who it was. He was a part of... Uh, I'm thinking of uh, Auntie Mietnin, I think. Uh, Nieminen was a part of the Colorado uh, Cup team. Of course, he was dealt to St. Louis, though. Uh, Essa Tikkanen in New Jersey. Only played nine games. So, yeah. I mean... Billy Neiman, and I'm not even sure how long he was in uh, St. Louis for. And the answer is he never played a game for St. Louis, so that's a draw. He had nine games for Tekken, that's a draw. It wasn't even at an important time, I do believe. Yeah, the year after they won the Cup. And then he was dealt to Vancouver, so that's a draw. Yeah, he, was dealt to, he was dealt to Vancouver right there. Uh, Pavel Skrbek for Chris Thierry. Chris, or Terreri, I should say, who was uh, Brodeur's backup for a bit. Um, Terreri in San Jose and then immediately goes back to New Jersey. He played 46 games for the Sharks. Pavel Skrbik. Skrbik. The Skrbik. What did you do in your career, buddy? I know I recognize the name. How much did you play for New Jersey? Uh, the answer is you didn't. You didn't play a game for the Devils. So despite the fact that Terreri goes back to New Jersey, that's a win for San Jose. Uh, Wes Mason for Estetikinen. I don't even have to look at that. It doesn't matter how long he played in Vancouver, does it? Yeah, he played two seasons. So that's a win for Vancouver as well. Back-to-back -back losses. Jocelyn Lemieux and John Erskine for Jim Dowd and Dmitry Kokarev. Uh, Jocelyn Lemieux did not do anything in New Jersey, did he? He played 18 games. John Erskine was a solid third-pairing defenseman. And then good old Jim Dowd. In Hartford, did he even play a game? He never played a game for Hartford. So, I uh, I give that to New Jersey, just for the fact that they got John Erskine. I'm not sure how much Erskine played, but, yeah, I mean, that's that's got to go. That's got to go to the Devils. Jim Dowd was a solid player, but he never played for Hartford. John Erskine, in fairness, never played for New Jersey. <laughs> All right, for those keeping track at home, we're going to consider that a draw. Erskine never played for the Devils, and Dowd never played for the Whalers. Oh, boy. Phil Housley, Dan Kex Kexmer. Kexmer. For Tommy Abilene, Callie Hoos, and Jocelyn Lemieux. Housley, in New Jersey, played 22 games. That's it. Dan Kexmer, in New Jersey... Never played a game. Right. Whereas Tommy Abilene in Calgary uh, was there for quite a while, and for that reason alone, I'm declaring that a win for Calgary without even looking at Hulse or Jocelyn Lemieux. They then acquired Dave Andrichuk for Merrick Posmick and Christian Antila. That's a win for the Devils. Like, you don't even... It doesn't... He, if he played a game, and he played more than the game for New Jersey before going to Boston, Colorado, Buffalo, and then winning a cup in Tampa... So, yeah, that's a big win there for the Devils, even though they didn't win with them. Final trade of this page is Josh DeWolf and Colin White for Pavel Skrbek. Colin White was a member of the 2000 and 2003 Cup winning teams, if I'm not mistaken. That's a big win for the Devils. Onward to page five. We're getting there. We're getting there. Uh, Jeff Reese, Pierre Danier, and Jason Birch for Corey Schwab. I have not heard the name Corey Schwab in far too long who did spend a couple of seasons in Tampa before going back to the Devils. Jeff Reese in New Jersey appears to have only played three games. 
So that is a win for Tampa. Not a major win, but a win nonetheless. Uh, Lyle Odeline, Odeline, who played quite a few seasons in New Jersey. Three. That's quite a few, right? So he was decent for them, including being a part, not being a part of the cup winning team. They dealt him before that. Actually, in fairness, yeah, did they? Do? Yeah, they dealt him the Phoenix. Poor Lyle. Whereas Stefan Richet in Montreal played two seasons as well. So two seasons, maybe a season and a half of Richet versus, you know, three and a half seasons of Lyle Odeline. Uh, I will give that to the Devils, but it's not. It's not a major win, but Odalim was a bit more tenured in New Jersey, so we'll give it to him. Uh, they gave up, yeah, so that's a win for New Jersey. Um, they gave up Neil Broughton to the LA Kings for nothing. He played 19 games. I'm going to consider that a draw, as opposed to the Odaline deal, where he actually played a little bit. Broughton played 19 games, so it's not a major loss for the Devils. It wasn't a win for the Kings. That's a draw. Uh, Ken Sutton and Brett Cluthier for Mike Peluso and Ricard Persson. Ken Sutton, which is also a name I haven't heard in forever. Uh, 13 games, 5 games, 6 games, 53 games. So he was around, but bouncing between the NHL and the AHL. Uh, Brett Cluthy, I don't recognize. Peluso in St. Louis played 44 games. And Ricard Persson in St. Louis also bounced back and forth between the NHL and the AHL. Uh, but considering Ken Sutton was a depth option... For a team that uh, went to, he only played six games. I'm going to call that a draw. Sutton didn't have a big enough factor on New Jersey with the cup winning teams. So it's kind of Sutton versus Person. I'll call it a draw. Uh, Peter Zizzle for Chris Alpine and James Demaris. Uh, Alpine in St. Louis played some games, nothing too great. And Zizzle, 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 uh, never played a game for New Jersey? No, he did 18 and then five there. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, it's a draw. That's a draw. Alpine might have been the uh, the slightly better player. That's a draw. Here we go. Uh, Dave Ellett, Doug Gilmore, and the pick that became Andre Lacos for Jason Smith, Steve Sullivan, and the rights to Alan McCauley. I mean, Dave Ellett at the time played 20 games, so nothing major there. Doug Gilmore wasn't exactly the Doug Gilmore of old at the time. Although, in fairness, yes, he was, and I was wrong. I mean, he wasn't 100-plus point Doug Gilmore, but 22 points in 20 games and 53 points in 63 games before leaving for Chicago. That's not bad, obviously, but he wasn't a part of a team that won, whereas Jason Smith uh, played, what, two seasons? Two and a half seasons in Toronto. And Steve Sullivan, if I can click on the right one, Played two seasons in Toronto as well. So, I'm going to call that a draw. I mean, Doug Gilmore still did quite well. Steve Sullivan had a 40-point season, a 30-point season. Those would have been a little bit better. I'm going to call that a draw. I mean, Doug Gilmore, of course, has the bigger name out of any of them. Uh, Jason Smith wasn't that bad for a defenseman in terms of point production. I'm going to call that a draw, which is not what I would have expected when I saw the name Doug Gilmore. Uh, Stanislav Grohn for Yanni Herme and Josh Langfield. Herme is the one name that I recognize. Herme is the one name that I recognize, but how long did he play for? How long did he play for? He played a couple of seasons in Ottawa. He wasn't great, but he was good enough that I would consider him, uh, I'd consider him the best player in the trade. I'm going to give a slight one to Ottawa there. Uh, Vastimil Krupa for Jeff Koch. Krupa played two games for the Devils. That's a draw. Doug Bodger, who might have the best name outside of Dodie Wood for John McLean and Ken Sutton. Uh, Bodger played 49 games and had 10 points. Neat. How did Wood do? Wood never played a game for the Devils. Neat. Whereas John McLean for the Sharks played 51 games. That was it. Ken Sutton for the Sharks played 8 games. That appears to be it. I'm going to call that a draw. I'm going to call that a draw. I mean, Bodger was okay for his one season. 
I guess you could argue a slight win. Well, San Jose, he played, McLean played one season. Sutton played one. Yeah, that's a draw. That's not anything too crazy. So, uh, this is a little bit crazy, though. Jason Arnett and Brian Muir for Bill Guerin and Valeria Azelapukin. Now, Jason Arnett was a part of a cup-winning team. Of course, he ended up going to Dallas before he could be a part of the second cup-winning team in his era. But Arnett won a cup. Brian Muir, in fairness, I actually don't know how the hell he did. Former Portland Pirate, though. So he's great and should be in the Hockey Hall of Fame. Didn't do much. Bill Guerin in Edmonton uh, didn't uh, didn't stay there for too long. Three seasons before going to the Bruins and then back to the Oilers. So, yeah, I mean, that's that's a win for the Devils just to get Jason Arnott. Uh, they then get Miko Ajokala for Reed Simpson. Simpson played two seasons in Chicago, so I'll give that as a win to the Blackhawks. Anton Butt, or Boot. Anton Boot, look at him. Look at him. Shootout goal, Anton Boot. There you go. Good old Anton. Don't know what that has to do with Anton Boot. Uh, my name is Anton, but for you, I am the Almighty. Anton Boot. Uh, for Peter Ziesel. Peter Ziesel, who played 25 games in Vancouver. So that is, that's a wash. As they draw Pierre Danier for Doug Bodger, who played 49 games. Excuse me, 65 games in Los Angeles. Pierre Danier, I actually do want to look at really quickly. Good old Pierre. How did you do in New Jersey, at least? New Jersey. Played nine games, and then 16. Right, that's a draw. LA didn't get much out of Bodger. <sighs> Scott Gomez for John Erskine and Tyler Book. Devils win. Former Calder winner. Cup winner. Big win for the Devils. Again, John Erskine wasn't that bad, but Scott Gomez. Regardless of what Habs fans might think of him, that's a major win. Oh my god, I forgot about these back-to-back -back trades. Jesus. Same day. Same day. Must have been draft day on the 27th, but they trade to get Scott Gomez, and then they trade and get Brian Gianna for Christian Antila, Oleg Smirnov, and Frederick Lindquist, also known as Frederick Bremberg. Two major wins back-to-back. -back. Two major wins. They then reacquire Chris Terreri, which is a major win. So three wins in a row at the very least. They then get Ken Sutton for Nico Dimitrakos. How did Sutton do? This was 1998. 13 games, 5 games, 6 games the year they won the Cup, bouncing back and forth between the NHL and the AHL. 53 games in the year that they went back to the Cup but lost to Colorado. Whereas, I mean, it's Nico Dimitrakos, man. So, Ken Sutton was okay for the Sharks, but Dimitrakos is a legend. University of Maine. God damn, why do I have such a connection to the players that Lou Lamorello ends up trading? <laughs> uh, Dimitrakos, though, didn't do much in San Jose. 68 games, 45 games. I'm going to call that a draw. I'm going to call that a draw. Dimitrakos, the more productive player who at least wasn't bouncing back and forth between NHL and AHL at the time. Uh, but Sutton was a decent depth option for the Devils uh, during some prime years for them. So that's that's a draw. Mike Rupp for Brian Muir. Uh, Mike Rupp wins. Uh, Muir didn't do anything. He played 53 games in Chicago and then 11 games the next season. Whereas Mike Rupp was a freaking solid option for them. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, indeed, was a part of the cup winning team in 03. He didn't play the biggest factor. But he is the better player overall. So that's a win for the Devils. Uh, Sergei Nemchinov for Daniel Johansson. That's a draw because I don't care. Uh, Sergei Vidshitkevich. Vidshitkevich. For future considerations. And he played 23 games before going back to what was the Russian Super League and became the KHL. So that's also a draw. Uh, but definitely the Gomez and Gianna pickups were huge there for Lou. Fourth page. We're almost... We're halfway. We're halfway home. They then uh, reacquire Ken Sutton for future considerations. So, I will... I will consider that a win. Steve Kelly for Brian Eklund. Kelly, how did you do in New Jersey? You played some games here and there. In fairness, this trade was in 99. 
and he ended up on the LA Kings. I'm going to call that a draw. Sylvain Cloutier, Jeff Williams, and Ken Magawan for Eric Bertrand and Wes Mason. Does it matter? Does it matter? Calling that a draw. They then reacquire Claude Lemieux, Matt Demarchi, and David Hale for Brian Ralston and Martin Samuelson. I love me some Brian Ralston, but he did only play 50 games for the Avs before becoming a Bruin. Hallelujah. Um, whereas Claude Lemieux in New Jersey the second time around was dealt to the Devils in 2000 and won another cup. So, I mean, I love me some Brian Ralston, and Martin Samuelson went on to be a pretty solid NHLer, but you have to give it to Claude Lemieux, just and the Devils for the fact that they went on to win the cup. Again, Samuelson, not a bad career at all in terms of what he did in Colorado. Uh, ow, is this, uh, is this not the right Samuelson? Wait. Is that... Wait, what? Martin Samuelson? Did it bring me to the wrong Martin Samuelson? I mean, regardless... Martin Samuelson, forward. Really? Who am I... Oh, I'm mis I know who I'm mistaking him for. Right, I'm, I'm mistaking him for, uh, Kale Samuelson, aren't I? That's exact. Oh, I can't type. Oh, I still can't type. I was mistaking him for Mikhail Samuelson. I'm glad I caught that before anybody could correct me. So, uh, yeah, that's an even bigger win for the uh, Devils than I would have thought. Claude Lemieux, you win a cup, Ralston leaves. Big win. Uh, and apparently you had to list the same trade twice. Cool. Uh, Timu Laine and Max Berbreyer for Tim Braham, Branham, and Vadim Shura. That's a draw. Who gives a shit? Uh, Vladimir Maha God. Malikov, I always struggle with that name, for essentially Sheldon Sure. Malikov for the Devils did not stay. Sheldon Sure was great for Montreal. Big win for Montreal, even though they didn't win with him. Uh, Darren Quint and Beat Sheese Forster for Lyle Odeline. Quint in New Jersey played four games the year they won the Cup, so I'm just going to assume he wasn't a big part of that. And Odeline in Arizona, Phoenix at the time, only stayed for one season. That is a draw. Alexander McGilney for Brendan Morrison and Dennis Peterson. McGilney for the Devils. Did win the Cup that year. Had a great season before going to Toronto, so he wasn't around for too long. Morrison in Vancouver, though, was pretty solid for quite a few years. Uh, and then Dennis Peterson as well. He filled the role. So... You gotta, you gotta argue here. Mogilny winning the cup in 2000 with the Devils versus Brendan Morrison having a bit more staying power. And if you win the cup, you win the trade. So Brendan Moore, at worst, it's a draw. It's not a loss by any stretch of the imagination for Vancouver. But, I mean, Alex Mogilny, like I said, won the goddamn cup that year. So... Yeah, you got to give it to the Devils as a deadline rental, for sure. Uh, Steve Steos for Simon Gamash. Steos did not stay in New Jersey long, if I remember right. He never played a game for New Jersey. He went on to be pretty decent for Edmonton, though. And uh, Simon Gamash didn't really do much. So I'm going to call it a draw. We'll see who they flip Steos for if they just outright lost him. They flipped him to Atlanta for future considerations. So they got him from Atlanta and then flipped him back less than a month later. Okay. So, you know what? It ended up being Steve Steos for nothing. Basically, Atlanta got Simone Gamache for nothing. So, Atlanta wins. Gamache was more known for his time in Nashville, wasn't he? Good old Simone Gamache. Yeah, so former Fred. Uh, so, yeah, that's a, that's a win for the Thrashers. That's a rare thing to say. Uh, Ed Ward for Tony Martinson. That's a draw, because who cares? Uh, Brandon Nolan and Turner Stevenson for Christoph Oliwa and the rights to Darren Quint. I'm already going to call that a draw. Stevenson was like a depth defenseman at best, and Oliwa was past his prime at that point. Only played 10 games, so that's another draw. Chris Terreri and Thomas Ziegler for Brad Bombardier. Uh, Terreri, at this point, never played another NHL game, did he? No, wait, this is 2000. So he played 10 more games for the Devils. Brad Bombardier played for quite a bit for Minnesota, so I give that to the Wild. And as it is, Bombardier was on the Devil's Cup winning team. So, yeah, big win there for Minnesota to get Bombardier fresh off of their expansion draft. Uh, Aaron Voros for Thomas Ziegler is a draw. 
They lost the Steos trade again. Uh, Gordy Kinnear for future considerations. That's a draw. I didn't even have to look at Gordy Kinnear. That's a draw. Bob Corkum for Steve Kelly. Uh, Corkum didn't do anything in New Jersey. He played 17 games. That's a draw. Sean O'Donnell for Willie Mitchell. That's an interesting one. Because O'Donnell didn't stay in New Jersey for long. He stayed there for 17 games. I believe he played in the cup final against Colorado. But then he went to Boston, where he was beloved. Uh, and Minnesota got Willie Mitchell, who was there for a while before going to Vancouver. So that's another win for Minnesota. Minnesota, hello. Uh, Minnesota's doing quite well. Minnesota wins that one as well, getting Willie Mitchell and Brad Bombardier. It's good stuff. Uh, John Van Beesbrook for Chris Terreri and Yuha Pekka Katola. Uh, Van Beesbrook played four games and then five games the next season. Terreri played eight games for the Islanders. That's a draw. And last on the page, Victor Uchitov for Neil Komodorsky and Evgeny Artukin. Is that the same Evgeny Artukin? Did they just, did they, that, they mistyped that, didn't they? Yeah, I was going to say, that's definitely a typo. You should fix that, NHL Trade Tracker. Uh, but yeah, I mean, Evgeny Artukin didn't, uh, didn't play much for Ottawa, but ended up being a decent NHLer. Okay, and he's done all right in the KHL. He's still a goon and a half. Uh, we'll consider that a draw as well. So, page three. We're getting there. Up to 2001. Igor Pohanka and Tuomas Peelman for Lucas Kracisek. That's a big win for the Panthers. Kracisek actually did something at the NHL level. Uh, Milan Gatchik and Marek Schwadl for... That's a draw. Who gives a damn? Who cares? Uh, Jason Reisner for Milan Gatchik and Tim Conboy. Conboy is probably the best player in that, but that's a draw. I mean, unless Tim Conboy uh, played more uh, played more games than I recall, which he might have for Atlanta. Uh, he didn't. He didn't. He never made the NHL until 2007-2008 with Carolina. So, yeah, that's a draw. Uh, they traded Chris Ferraro for nothing. Former Portland Pirate Chris Ferraro. Damn right. Only played one game in the NHL with the Capitals. So that is also a draw. Which it's tough to consider the draw when, I mean, it's future considerations, but it is what it is. Andre Zuzan for Joseph Boumedidine and Sasha Gotch, as well as the rights to Anton Boot. Uh, Zuzan didn't, uh, didn't do a whole hell of a lot for New Jersey. 38 games, then one game before being dealt to Minnesota. Boumedidine in Tampa, former Portland Pirate, by the way, uh, played three games. That's a wash. Sasha Gotch as well. Didn't really do much for Tampa. That's a wash. Zuzan, again, he played the half a season with the Devils before leaving and also spent some time down in the AHL. So just, yeah. Yeah, that's that's a wash. That's a draw. Valeria Kaminsky for Andre Lacos and future considerations, considering I don't know who the hell Lacos is, but I know who Kaminsky is, I can assume. Uh, Kaminsky only played 30 games, though, before uh, leaving to the Super League at the time. Andre Lacos for Dallas. Never played. So I'm going to consider that a draw. You could consider it a win for the Devils getting Kaminsky. Uh, had this been 2003, the year that they won the Cup, I would have given him a bit more credit. Kaminsky wasn't bad, but he didn't have any staying power. So that's a draw. Uh, Mike Rusinski. Mike Rusinski. Never played. Never played for the Devils. Ted Drury for Carolina. Never played. Draw. Jamie Langenbrunner and Joe Neuendijk for Jason Arnett, Randy McKay, and Dan Paye. The Devils win this by default because they went on to win the Cup the next year with Langenbrunner and with Neuendijk. Um, again, Langenbrunner stayed there for nearly the rest of his career and was very solid. Joe Neuendijk looked to pretty much finish up his career after that. Uh, spent a season in Toronto and two seasons in Florida before calling it. Jason Arnott stayed in Dallas for a couple of seasons, but they never matched that level of success New Jersey had with the Cup. Uh, Randy McKay played one season in Dallas before playing a season in Montreal and retiring. And Danny Paio was never really known as a Dallas star. So that's a big win for the Devils to have gotten two key pieces, or at least solid contributing pieces to that Cup in 2003. So not a bad deal for Dallas, but a win for New Jersey. Uh, they also reacquired Stefan Richet for Stephen Dixon. Uh, I mean, it's a draw at worst for the Devils. Uh, he played 10 games, so I'll consider it a draw to be fair. Consider it a draw to be fair. Richie didn't do much at the time. 
Uh, Maxime Balmachinich, Jeff Friesen, and Oleg Tevardovsky for Mike Commodore, Jean Francois Damfus, and Peter Sikora. Is that the better Peter Sikora? You're goddamn right that's the better Peter Sikora. Who I love. Uh, we'll take a look at Jeff Friesen first, who was a part of the cup winning team, spent two seasons in New Jersey, won a cup. Oleg Tevardovsky was a part of the cup winning team, and then jumped to the KHL during the lockout or the Russian Super League, and then came back. So, I mean, Friesen and Tevardovsky won a cup in 2003. You know, it's tough to beat that. Mike Commodore, great hair, but uh, didn't spend much time in Anaheim. Actually never played a game for Anaheim before being moved again. And Peter Sikora, love me some Peter Sikora, but yeah. I mean, he went to a cup final with the Ducks. In 03, and was amazing. You know, 13 points in 21 games. But didn't get the job done. So that's another big win for the Devils. Overall, I mean, Lou has done quite well. Either in the offseason, before they win the Cup, or the deadline just before. He does very well in terms of those uh, additions out of nowhere. Uh, Steve Correa. Steve Correa. Never played a game. University of Maine, though. God love him. Uh, and Miko Jokala who played one game, so that is another draw. Josh Disher for Pascal Rayom. That's a win for Atlanta, because Rayom actually did something. He only played 50, he played two seasons. That's a win for Atlanta. Uh, Richard Schmelik, Josh Disher, and Nathan Perkovich from Mike Vanelli. I'm going to guess, actually, no, they were separated. Hey, happy birthday to me. You know what I remember about this date? It was my birthday, and I was sick, and I had black raspberry ice cream, and it didn't end up going well. I want you to know that. Uh, Richard Schmelich for the Devils. Didn't uh, didn't stay long, but did win a cup with them. So, yeah. I mean, he was a depth roll to it, but that's a win for New Jersey. Uh, they also got Grant Marshall for Christopher Hogg, and that's a big win too. Uh, Marshall won the cup with them that year and stayed for a couple more seasons. So that's another big win. The Grant Marshall trade. Well, that's an interesting one. Uh, the pick that became Zach Parise. This was draft day. The pick that became Zach Parise for Marc Antoine Pouliot and Jean Francois Jacques. Uh, Pouliot and Jacques both weren't bad NHLers. More role players in the bottom six. Zach Parise, Zach Parise. And even if he didn't win anything with New Jersey, it's a major win. It's Zach Parise, man. Uh, Ivan Trumatov for Mike Danton and Konstantin Zakharov. I'm going to call it a draw. I mean, Mike Danton, that's just a whole different story. Chumatov, I don't recall doing much with the Devils, and that's his Wikipedia page. So, uh, <laughs> we'll go back to Elite Prospects. Uh, he never played a game for the Devils. So, yeah, that'll be, that'll be a draw. I mean, Danton played a little bit for the Blues, if I'm not mistaken, before his whole life story happened. Uh, they got Victor Kozlov for Christian Berglund and Victor Uchitov. Kozlov, as we're going to have to refresh the page, I believe, to fix that. Kozlov. Nope, it's just broken. I don't know why that happens. It's like I use the site so much, it just breaks. But, I mean, offhand, I just flat out broke the site. Here, let me uh, let me do it that way. Maybe that'll help. Do the complete refresh. Nope, okay, it's outright broken. Cool. So, bear with me on these final few pages, but Kozlov, the better player out of the group. I give it to New Jersey. Uh, Jan Herdina from Mike Rupp and Jeff Paukovic. I'm going to consider that a draw. Just offhand. I have a feeling Rupp might win otherwise. Uh, the pick that became Travis Zajac for Lucas Casper and Clayton Barthel. Major, major win for the Devils. Uh, they then get Kirill Tulipoff for Jeff Friesen. That is a win for Washington. So again, uh, win for New Jersey with Kozlov. Draw between Herdina and Rupp. Big win with Zajac and a loss with Jeff Friesen going to Washington. Second page, I did see Kovalchuk at the top. Brad Ferentz for Pascal Realm, Ray Spencer, uh, Ray Schultz and Steven Spencer. Uh, I'll consider that a draw. Off, uh, you know, like my instinct, I'd say probably the Brad Ferentz deal, but we'll call that a draw. Ken Klee for Alexander Sugloboff will give that to the Devils. I remember Ken Klee as the better player. Brad Lukowicz for Jonas Anilov. That is another win for the Devils. So a draw and two wins to start. Uh, Jason Weimer for Hugo Carpentier. I'll give it to the Devils again. 
Uh, Weimer's the more recognizable name. Not sure how much he did, but still. So again, draw, win, win. Uh, yeah, another win there. So, yeah, shit, a draw and three wins. Way to go, Lou. Uh, TJ Miller for Sean Brown. We'll give that to the Canucks. Sean Brown, the better player. Matthew Corrente and Vladimir Zharkov for Patrick Berglund. Big win for St. Louis. Uh, some Blues fans would argue whether or not that's a big win, but a big win for the Blues. Jim Fahey and Alex Korolyuk for Vladimir Malakoff and David Perron. Uh, whether or not the Sharks kept that pick, which, I mean, they didn't, I have to judge the trade off of what it is, and David Perron wins it for the Sharks. They also get a third-round pick for Alex Korolyuk, which I'll give that to the Devils. Not even sure what the hell they used it for, but I'll give it to them for that. Uh, they then get Nick Palmieri, essentially for David Hale and Jean Simon Simon Allard. Uh, Devils win that one as well for the Palmieri pickup. Uh, they get J.S. Berube for Aaron Voros, another win for the Devils, even though I don't think Berube ever played for them. Uh, Bryce Salvador for Cam Jansen. I'll give that to the Devils for Salvador. I mean, Cam Jansen, no, uh, no disrespect, buddy. And I could, you know, sit here and do this for every player. Uh, but no disrespect to Cam Jansen, Cam Jansen, but yeah. I mean, he wasn't bad, but he actually stayed in St. Louis for quite a bit. But if I had to pick, you know, the better player out of the two, Bryce Salvador. Uh, Matias Tedenby and Alex Erbaum for Tyler Kuma. 100% the Devils win it. 100%, no disrespect to Tyler Kuma. Could be considered a slight draw if you wanted. Although, okay, so actually, this trade happened first, I guess. They got the pick that became Tyler Kuma and Patrice Cormier for Anton Gustafson. That's a win. And then they flipped that first to get Tedenby and Erbaum. So back-to-back -back wins there for the Devils with those two trades. Uh, Kevin Cormier for Sean Zimmerman is a draw. David McIntyre for Sheldon Brookbank. Probably give that to the uh, to the Ducks with Brookbank. Uh, Nicholas Hovland and Miles Stooge for Ansi Samela. Uh, that is the actual Nicholas Hovland, isn't it? It's not the secondary option. Uh, I'll give that to the Devil. Well, he played 15 games. <laughs> we'll call that a draw. That's one of those where it's like the biggest name in the group is Hovland, but without, uh, without this little feature working, it kind of is what it is. Uh, Josephson for Erickson and Nick Delorier. <sighs> I'm gonna call that a win for New Jersey. I mean, Erickson's a decent, like, 7th D option. Delorier's not too bad, but I'll consider that a win for the Devils. Even though Josephson and Delorier are kind of the same. Uh, Ben Walter and future considerations for Tony Romano. That's a draw. Tim Sestito for a conditional pick. I mean, that's a win just by default. You got a player for nothing. And then we get to the big one. Kovalchuk, Samela, and a second that became John Merrill for Bergfors, Cormier, Oduya, the pick that became Kevin Hayes, and the pick that became Justin Hall. Bergfors wasn't bad. Cormier never quite stuck around at the NHL level. Oduya is obviously a solid defenseman. Kevin Hayes is a solid player. Justin Hall finally making it with the Leafs. You'll get Kovalchuk, man. Even if that whole trade kind of backfired with Kovalchuk not staying for all that long, that is a major win for the Devils with Kovalchuk. And that brings us to the final page. Thank God. Uh, Martin Skula for Sam Carrick. I'll consider that a win for the Devils with Skula. They reacquired Jason Arnott for Matt Halischuk and Magnus Helberg. I will consider that a draw. I mean, Arnott at this point in 2010. Halischuk was okay, and Helberg at least played some games and goal. So that'll be a draw. Uh, let's see. The pick that became Blake Coleman for Langenbrunner. Consider that a draw. Past his prime, Langenbrunner for Blake Coleman, who is making the NHL now. Like, I'm pretty sure he's been in the Devils lineup over the past season or so, but in, like, a bottom six capacity. I'll consider that a draw for now. That could be a deal that ends up working out very well for New Jersey. Uh, Jay Leach and Steven Zalewski for Patrick Davis and Michael Swift. That's a draw. Uh, they then flipped Jason Arnett fairly quickly uh, at the deadline. They got him in the offseason and flipped him at the deadline to Washington for Dave Steckel in a second. Uh, I'll consider that... Shh, I'll consider that, actually. Let's um, let's take a look here at Steckel. I want to see what that pick became. Shh, oh, well, that's good. Thank you, Hockey DB. Really? What's the problem? Hockey DB! Don't do this to me. Okay. Well, without knowing what that pick became, I'm going to call that a draw. Steckel wasn't bad, but I don't know what that second round pick became right now. 
Uh, I could look, but my god, what a pain in the ass. Screw it, I want to look. 2012 NHL draft. Oh, look at that, we were on it recently. Uh, second round pick. Let's see what we have. New Jersey. I know Cap Friendly is pretty good for this, too. Did New Jersey make the pick? They did not? I mean, Damon Severson, but I don't believe that was the pick. I think they ended up dealing it to Minnesota, who got Rafael Bucieris. So, uh, we'll call that a draw. Maxime Nero for David McIntyre, that's a draw. Trent Hunter in 2011 for a pick, that's a draw. Uh, they flipped Dave Steckel to Toronto for a fourth. Well, let's see what that fourth became, shall we? <laughs> now that these sights are breaking on me. Uh, they got Ben Thompson, who's not terrible. David Steckel was okay for Toronto, although Leafs fans will be like, the fuck he was. So, we'll consider that a draw as well. Curtis Foster and Timo Peelmeyer for a seventh. Mark Frazier and Rod Pelly. That's a draw as well. Like, Foster wasn't terrible. Uh, Frazier and Pelly aren't that bad. They kind of equal out. They get Marek Shudlitschke for Foster, Palmieri, Vayu, a second and a conditional pick. I mean, pfft, God, the Devils went to the final in 2012, did they not? Am I thinking of the right cup final? Oh, Stanley Cup final. Whoops, okay, there we go. 2012 Stanley Cup. Yeah, they lost to the Kings. So, Zhidlitsky would have helped get them there. Uh, no one really did anything. Depending on what those picks are for Minnesota, they might have won it back, but I'll give that to the Devils. Uh, Loktyanov for a fifth. Loktyanov never really did anything. He's in the KHL, so that's a draw. Ponikarovsky for a seventh and a fourth. Ponikarovsky never really did anything. He's solid, but that's a draw. Seventh round pick in D'Agostini for a conditional. That's a draw without knowing what the picks are. And again, with Hockey DB messing up for me too. Eh. Uh, Steve Sullivan for a seventh. I'm going to consider that a draw at the time, just because Sullivan was, I mean, it's Steve Sullivan in 2013, right? How much longer did Steve Sullivan even play beyond 2013? I don't believe the answer is all that long. That was his final year. So, yeah, we'll call that a draw. Oh, boy. <sighs> Corey Schneider for the pick that became Bo Horvat. And someone said before I began this little journey that this was the trade that they wanted to really know my opinion on. <sighs> okay. Right now... It's so tough, man. It's so tough. Because right now, as it is, Corey Schneider... I mean, you know, if you look in the immediate aftermath of that trade, these three seasons, I mean, holy shit. Right? 2016-17, the numbers start to drop. Last year, split duty with Keith Kincaid was lights out in the playoffs. And then this year has struggled and even went down to the AHL for a conditioning stint. Whereas with, uh, whereas with Bo Horvat, I mean, in the immediate aftermath, 25 points in his rookie year is not bad. 40 points, 52, 44. Now this season is really breaking out. 18 points in 21 games. If you asked me immediately, if you asked me, I think, prior to last year, you know, up to the 2017-18 season, it goes Corey Schneider, but... Horvat's, Horvat's winning over. So some people might say it's a bit too early to call it because Schneider might be able to turn it around. It's not as if Corey Schneider's ancient. He's 32. He still has time to turn it around, but I got to go Bo Horvat at this point. I think Bo Horvat wins it at this point. So that's a tough one. The fair point with Vancouver and the Corey Schneider trade, as was just pointed out on Twitch, is that Vancouver hasn't replaced the goaltending yet. You could still consider this a draw if you want to. I think rightfully so. I mean, you have to kind of be leaning towards Vancouver. I mean, you can factor that in, though. Okay, New Jersey had the better goaltender who's slipping up, but Vancouver hasn't replaced the goaltender, but they do have someone who has 18 points in 21 games to start a season. So you can view that a couple of different ways. I personally still give, at this point, the slight edge and win to the Canucks. It could turn, though. Schneider might be able to turn it around. I think with Vancouver, the fact that you kind of were heading towards a rebuild anyway at that point, it's okay for the fact you didn't replace your goaltending. Especially, too, if Thatcher Demko makes it, then, yeah, it's looking like a major win. So, 
Uh, Henrik Talinder for Riley Boychuk. I don't know why they're on the opposite side now. Uh, but for the fact that the Devils sent Henrik Talinder back to Buffalo where he belongs, uh, but they also did acquire the guy who follows everyone on Twitter. I'm going to give that as a win for Buffalo because they got back Henrik Talinder, which makes me very happy. Very happy. Uh, Chris Barch in the seventh for Scott Timmons in the sixth. That's a draw. Tuomo Rutu for Lochtianoff in a third. Without knowing what that third became, and let me see if this site's actually back up and running. Nope. Okay, cool. We'll just close that tab. Um, it's Rutu against that third because Lochtianoff didn't do much. I'm going to call it a draw just because I don't know what that third rounder is. Uh, best player in the trade that I know of, though, was Rutu. Uh, I don't know what the hell the Devils got for these picks, right? I don't. Let's see if Cap Friendly can give me the answer. How about that? How about that? So what do we need? We need the 2012 draft. Uh, it's tools, is it not? Draft board. Cool. So 2012, it would have been a... Or 2015 second. Whoops, my bad. Confusing the numbers because I'm very much tilted that I got blocked from Hockey DB, apparently. Uh, New Jersey. New Jersey. Uh, I guess it was... I don't even know, man. There are so many pieces. There are so many pieces. Is there a devil's pick from Florida? Yeah, fuck it. Who the hell knows? So without knowing the pieces back, knowing that Yager didn't do much in Florida, I'm going to call it a draw. Uh, Merrick Zidlitschke for a third. I'll call that a draw as well. Just because I don't know. And that was the last trade that Lou Lamorello made. Okay. <laughs>